Everything Star Wars is here. I'm Rob. I'm here. You're there. And today we're bringing back questions for creators with none other than my very, very, very special guest, Lord Darth Vader, Darth Vader Reviews. But here's the bad news. As much as I tried to put out this video, I've been trying for weeks. I have tried everything and I just can't download the video. Nothing has seemed to work. You have failed me for the last time. I'm sorry, my lord. I, I, I didn't mean to. I really, 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 really tried. I did everything I could to put your video out there. Apology accepted. Leave them to me. I will deal with them myself. My lord, that, that's, not, that's not the deal we had. I have to upload it to my channel. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Wait a second here. Wait, wait, wait just a second. It's my channel. It's my channel. Perhaps you think you're being treated unfairly? It would be unfortunate if I had to leave a garrison here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. But, my lord. I did everything I could to put the video out there to, to, for your channel, to, to, to shout out your channel. I tried. There's no way you're going to be able to upload this video. I tried everything. Google, Twitter, every app I could try. Nothing worked. There's just no way you're going to. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Oh my god. Lord Vader, you, you did it. You downloaded the video. It's incredible! All too easy. Perhaps you are not as strong as the Emperor thought. Well, without further ado, you just don't want to anger him. Not a good idea. That's, that's Lord Vader. I'm not that stupid. With that being said, let's check out some questions I had for... Lord Vader himself. Rob from Everything Star Wars. The Empire thanks you for having me as your guest on a few questions for a YouTube creator. Question number one. What is your channel name and what is it all about? The channel's name is Vader Reviews. Join me every Saturday for weekly reviews of the very best and worst film has to offer. We also produce short films, drawing tutorials, and have a full-length Star Wars fan film in the works as the channel continues to grow and gain financial support. Question number two. What got you started with YouTube? Tell us about your experience. Like many Star Wars fans, after The Last Jedi, I was most displeased by their apparent lack of talent. I felt it necessary to release my anger upon this film, but I have also reviewed some truly impressive films. Over this past year, we have nearly reached the 800 subscriber mark, with more faithful soldiers of the Empire joining the ranks every week. The friendships I've made and the support from the community we built together has been rewarding and I would honestly not trade this experience for the world. I look forward to what the future holds as the empire continues to spread across the internet. Question number three. Do you like Star Wars? If so, why? I may seem a little naturally biased here, but in my personal opinion, Star Wars is one of the most important film franchises of all time. It not only changed how movies were made, but it changed the world forever. George Lucas created an enduring mythology that has captured the hearts and minds of generations of viewers. And through its groundbreaking visual effects, iconic sound design by Ben Burtt, and sweeping film score by John Williams, Star Wars tells a gripping story with compelling characters that brings out the child in all of us 
and inspires audiences of all ages to dream and reach for the stars. Question number four. What do you think of the current state of Star Wars? In two words, Bantha Poodle. Sadly, the current state of Star Wars is an unmitigated disaster. The fan base has never been more divided, as the legacy of our favorite characters have been utterly destroyed, as the classic continuity and even George Lucas's original vision for 7, 8, and 9 were unceremoniously chucked down the reactor core like the Emperor. Through lame jokes, character assassination, and soulless rehashing of superior films, Star Wars has suffered greatly. But as long as we hold on to what we love, they can never truly destroy our galaxy far, far away. And with fan film projects like Star Wars Theory's Vader series and FX Hidden Post reimagining of Scene 38, the fate of the galaxy rests in our hands. Question number five. How would you fix Star Wars? In a perfect universe, I would have Disney reinstate George Lucas as the head of not only the story team, but all of the creative decisions. The Clone Wars series is a perfect example of how this works. Dave Filoni and his team of writers would have to run everything past Lucas before it was approved, and the quality and continuity of that series was consistent. There was also a level of respect for the legacy of fan favorite characters that is severely lacking in their current story team and leadership at Disney Lucasfilm. You see it a lot in Hollywood these days. The idea that subverting expectations and deconstructing our beloved characters or franchises will somehow make it better. But in the end, all it does is anger fans. However, since my ideal situation will never happen, I would at least settle for someone who truly loves Star Wars and cares for the fans being placed in charge of the story team. And with the looks of the Mandalorian, there may be some hope for the future, because Jon Favreau respects source material and cares about the fans, as seen clearly in his version of Jungle Book and Iron Man, which kicked off the wildly successful MCU. And finally, question number six. What is your channel's future plan for 2019? As the channel continues to grow, and we gain more financial support from our loyal soldiers of the Empire, we plan to expand our production to more short films, animated segments like the Vader cartoon I made for Star Wars Day this year, and other exciting new content, along with our regular weekly reviews. Eventually, we hope to begin production on our full-length fan film, Age of the Empire set between the events of Episodes 3 and Rogue One, where a small band of rebels led by Lady Ram and a Jedi that survived Order 66 attempt to liberate an Imperial Death Camp that had been placed under my protection. But running an empire isn't cheap, and the only way we can continue making content is through the support of viewers like you. Think of us as a totally wizard version of public television, so how can you get involved, you may ask? We have a PayPal link to the channel now, where people can donate and support what we're doing. If you love Star Wars and want to belong to something greater, join the Empire today. You do not yet realize your importance. Search your feelings, you know this to be true. Together, we will rule the internet and bring order to the galaxy. Come with me. It is the only way. Subscribe today and follow me on Twitter at Vader Reviews. Thank you once again, Rob from Everything Star Wars, for having me on your program today. And always remember, you don't know the power of the dark side. So that's Darth Vader Reviews. And I hope that you'll join the dark side of the force and you'll check out his channel. I'll leave the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. What do you think of his channel? Are you going to check it out? Are you going to subscribe? And if you do, tell him 
everything Star Wars sent you. And with that being said, I'll catch you in my next video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know the next time my video comes out. And I got a lot this week. I'll see you later. Hope you're enjoying everything. And thank you to my family members. The road to 700 continues. Check out Darth Vader reviews. Come back here for some more awesome videos. I love you all very much. Thank you for supporting the channel. Let's get to 700. I'll see you soon.